Hello people, and welcome back to part 55 of Palavan, our vanilla city's Skylines build. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for the kind comments, suggestions and support on the European Transport Hub build. I uh, had a really nice time putting together a nice European Transport Hub, funnily enough. Um, it's getting some nice use now as well, lots of people coming and going from the multi-platform end station. Uh, and also just deciding to pick up multiple different routes around the city as well. There's some people walking into the high density stuff over here. Uh, people using the walking path as well to actually get onto the highway, which is, I guess, a nice little bonus, right? Lots of metro action going on as well, which is always good to see. Yeah, I'm really happy with the way that the vibes came together here. Nice little blend of European and liberal arts assets. Uh, it definitely kind of helps add to this kind of grand central plaza feel, right, I think. Now we've got some people moving around here. Of course, our little skyway is getting some use now as well. Of course the trams will be busy once the rest of the European network fills out. And then some nice monorail action. Intercity buses as well, which is always appreciated I think, isn't it? People picking up this red line too. Yeah, really happy with this build. Um, thanks for all the support on it. You guys really enjoyed it. Uh, however, we are going to be taking a, a very short break away from the European area of the downtown because I want to head back over and start working on the rival town to Dawson, uh, which is going to be called Clawson. So Dawson is one of our favourites, right? Dawson is a fantastic build. Really, really nice. Got some nice town centre vibes going on. Lots of very specifically chosen assets to help contribute to this town centre. Really is one of my favourite builds, this one. I think we've all got time for Dawson, right? Then it kind of expands down into Dawson Waterfront over here, which is, again... I don't think we, we, we can't be here without being at night time, right? <laughs> it's illegal. Yeah. Dawson Waterfront at night, everyone. Can we just get like a little round of applause for this? Oh, with the metro there as well. Yes, please. <laughs> Such a good build. Really came together so well, this one. Um, not to toot my own horn or anything, but, you know, I'm just happy with Dawson Waterfront. I think we all are, aren't we? Lots of trams. Kind of mooch through the streets here, right? There's... Little back alleys that have all got lots of nice assets in them. Come up a little further and there's green cities and carry on further up there's little tram parks and kind of public transport mini interchanges coming together with people picking them up now and just a lush part of town isn't it? I think we've all got time for Dawson. I think we've all just got a little special place in our heart for Dawson haven't we? It's one of kind of Palavin's key builds and uh, nice to look into that skyline from Dawson as well. Huge fan of it. So kind of the point of today's episode, right, is we want to be building a rival town to Dawson, okay? We want, um, you know, kind of the opposite to Dawson. So Dawson has this kind of square, boxed layout for its town centre, and then some very kind of rigid outlying suburb. You know, it's, its waterfront is lush, and there's trams and unique buildings and wonderful decoration. So for Clawson, we're going to take everything the opposite way. Um, for this. So kind of my thought process behind this is Clawson's going to be kind of the rough town of Palavan, right? No one wants to live in Clawson. Um, it stinks and it's just generally not a nice place to be. So kind of Clawson will take up this chunk here, right? So Dawson's made up of kind of three separate individual builds. We have the zoo, the town centre and the suburb and then the waterfront. We'll take a similar approach with Clawson as well just to help fill out a lot of this area over here. So first of all, we're going to start bringing things out from here, but we've got some work to do on the rail junction, so we'll start with this. Okay, so I think we're going to start out with a nice little ditch here. I'm going to take away a lot of this railing structure, and then do some nice kind of sunken rail lines, which I think will be a nice time. Stick down by a little bit, maybe a touch more, that should probably be good. Okay, and then we'll start flattening out all this area here. Give ourselves plenty of room. Bring those rail lines through. And lots of nice changes in height and elevation here. Remembering all kind of Palavin's key themes and aesthetics that we're a, a big fan of. Start bringing some slopes towards these edges here, okay? And then run through a soften. And then just take a little bit of the harshness out of these quite steep banks, okay? I think that'll be alright. Got my rail line again. Start bringing this down here. Do we have it coming through? Yeah. It's all a little bit kind of tight and narrow in this part of the map because we were building against the map boundary at one point in time, but it could be a little easier now, I think. So this line just heads straight into the university. There's no point to hook it into this direction. 
So we're just going to bring it out from this point here, okay? Got a nice smooth curve on the go. Let's bring this one down first of all. Just so we know what road guard line we're going to be hooking into. There we go. Fantastic. It's going to give our trains a, a little more room to breathe. It's all a little bit tightly packed in a moment ago. That's also going to allow us to bring out a nice bridge from uh, this interchange right here, okay? So let's come to our smallest elevation step. And how about we come out? The nice little industrial bridge. I think we're going to be on board with that, right? Everyone's going to be happy getting some... No, there is no modern art here, is there? Yeah, we're just, just about clearing the rail. That'll be all right. So I think actually I'm a bigger fan of separating the rail junction a little further down before it reaches this ditch. I think it makes it look a little more natural, right? It's nice to have these parallel train lines as well as kind of an aesthetic within the area. I think I'm happy with that. Lots of nice detail opportunities here too. So let's start working on the town centre frame, right? We want, um, I think kind of this is going to be a good spot. We've also got some fertile land here as well, so possibly integration of some farmland assets in here. Might not quite go with the kind of the rough vibe that we're trying to generate today, but I guess we'll try, right? So kind of fairly central within this landmass, I think probably probably here is going to be a good spot, right? Kind of between the fertile land and it's a nice clear down run to the waterfront from here. So I think we'll go for here. We possibly will feed a passenger line from Clawson into Dawson as well. I guess we'll just kind of see what develops. There's already plenty of passenger trains going down here, though, which is good to see. Very nice indeed. Okay, so immediately coming out of the train station, we're just going to have a regular road, and then we're going to switch this into a two-way highway. Now, because this is quite a distance to travel, it's going to make sense to upgrade it into the high-speed road. Yeah, we do want a little bit of distance between the two towns, just like a little bit of a forest boundary, I guess. Now, do we want the ones with sound barriers? Of course, not necessary because we're not protecting anyone from sound here, but I think just for the aesthetic, have a little look at the ones without as well. And then we'll kind of come into what will be the entrance into Clawson Town Centre here, okay? So let's bring a nice little box off here, and then we'll grab ourselves. Now, I do want trolley buses in the town centre as well so we'll have a little look at that today too so unlike trams we don't have just trolleybus tracks like we do with the trams so we're going to try and form just a little trolleybus turnaround point here straight outside the station which i think should work out quite nicely we'll of course make it one way the trolleybuses can kind of circle around and then we will also fracture our road here so we can bring in some pedestrian crossings, let's grab ourselves a tree road, and then we'll start to formulate some ideas for this. So again, trying to keep it kind of unkept and almost a little bit dirty. I think we might rub in nature as a fen uh, pathway as kind of the, the main theme here, right? I think a lot of the other paths all have quite fancy vibes about them, so kind of the, the unkept dirt vibe. Is something I think we'll run with with the nature reserve path. Okay. Just keep this border running all the way around. And of course, during the detail and time lapse, we have opportunities to come in here and do something a little different. Okay. So again, constantly referring to Dawson as to kind of how we're going to make this the opposite, right? Let's have, um, we can have this square rectangular box. So why don't we kind of repeat the same pattern with the big kind of plus symbol in the middle. Let's double check our measurements of what Dawson was. So it's kind of 900 each side, is that right? Yeah, it's all symmetrical. Yeah, 900 each side, that's gonna be fine. Well, I think rather than doing the rigid ones, we'll kind of do some nice roundabout stuff. So let's have a little play with that idea. Again, we'll start bringing the trolleybus road down here as to where we want the town centre to sit. So let's go for, and then we'll come out by 900 each side again nice we'll then feed the trolley buses down into the waterfront so these guys will continue to flow in that direction let's just draw out a little road so we know where that 900 marker is and then the trolley buses can just feed down into close waterfront which will be again another episode 
bring it down there and just hold that in for right now just so we know where we're kind of preparing to go right okay so a trolley bus system can flow through the town center we're going to be fairly happy with that i think and then we'll start curving them into here okay step into those road guidelines it's basically just making like a massive roundabout right okay so this will serve as Lawson town center very nice go ahead and grab that trolley bus road again and then we'll come out with a nice long straight line and we'll shave a little bit of this off it's come out a touch touch shorter this time And then we'll feed in like that. It's going to have this nice long straight arterial rundown, of course, with surrounding suburb out here as well. Okay, so let's start bringing in some kind of zonable squares, right? So I think to kind of get the look we're after, we're going to have to stick to fairly small commercial plots here, okay? So kind of nothing bigger than threes, twos ideally, also the occasional kind of one commercial zoning as well. Also bring in some park assets. So again, kind of trying to make a grim looking town center in the unmodded game without using specific workshop assets is hard, but we'll see what we can get going, right? Let's see what comes in. We've also brought some power lines down alongside uh, this kind of national road as well. And let's also have a look at introducing uh, the trolley buses into this square now. So we can snap the depot onto here, which I think will be quite a nice aesthetic, I think. It'll be nice ended up into the town as well. And asset placement is very important. Okay. Then we'll upgrade this one into two-way, just so the trolley buses can kind of get in and out of this line. But the rest of the town centre will follow a one-way flow system, or well, the, the train centre will follow a one-way flow system anyway. Okay, so let's start to see what generates in. Again, lots of kind of vanilla pathways through here as well. And we're building rurally today, right? So we want kind of green belt as well, even though it is kind of a bit of a grim place to be. There's also some uh, high density assets that I'm after today as well, um, which I will credit to subscribers Spice Cat for pointing these out during a discord stream and um, they are kind of perfect for the vibe that we're after here today okay let's just keep our little little pathways flowing around all this commercial let's see what we're going in for so barbecue heat and chili i think we definitely want the zonings up alongside the corners right so let's go for maybe another small one here also we'll bring these guys some power lines down as well. And I believe that the high density assets there are two by two pattern that will spawn in here. Let's have a look at some of those and then maybe some of the more horrible high density commercial assets as well. Let's see what we've got coming in. Yeah, so these kind of Really basic looking car washes. This one might be a touch too fancy. This will kind of see. Yeah, this is what we're after, right? It's the it's the crap kind of level one looking stuff that we're after. A little bit run down, nowhere near as kind of rich and as lush as Dawson Town Centre is. Okay, let's carry on bringing in some varying commercial patterns. So let's take away these two. And maybe we'll put on one more here. Yeah, see, this one's a little fancier, isn't it? Backwater burger, though. It kind of works with the vibe. Yes, these are them. These are the ones that we want, right? These little 2x2 two two level 1 high-density residentials. We'll work with a repeated pattern for some of these today. We'll just kind of see what we can get generating here, right? Yeah, these kind of assets are all wonderful as well. And we'll start to bring our power lines down here now as well. 
I think what we'll do is just so we can see the trolley buses kind of coming and going, let's bring one of these roads as a trolley bus road, and then we'll hook it back through on this side. And then let's get them moving around so we can kind of see the aesthetic. Oh, very nice. That's going to centralize outside the train station. That's exactly what we want. And then they can stop here. Actually, let's bring it up to this side. And this side, of course, once the waterfront is active, it will flow down into the waterfront. But for right now, I'm just going to have it here. Okay, let's wait for our trolley buses to come out. And then we'll, we'll pick them quite a horrible color. Maybe go for like some kind of like rancid cream looking kind of like off milk, right? That's, <laughs> that's the vibe that we're trying to go for today. Right? Yeah, okay. I think, I think that's a color that nobody appreciates, which is exactly the kind of vibe that we're generating today. Look at my traffic lights. Can I see how we're looking here? Yeah, okay. I think we might even try and get a few abandoned buildings in today as well. Maybe wait for this one to level up a touch. Okay. And how about like a little emergency services block off of this main arterial, just to decorate it out a little bit. So let's come on to a snap in angle and road length. And just start to draw in some stuff here. So let's go for fire department. We'll go for kind of the old one here. I guess it wouldn't really make sense to include um, a police station if that's kind of the vibe we're going for. But I think just because of the, the gameplay mechanics of City Skylines, we almost have to, right? Just to help keep the area at least somewhat happy. Where do we want this? Maybe let's bring it, take away a touch of this road frame here, right? And we'll box the fire station in by itself. And then we'll do something similar along here for the police station. So let's grab ourselves uh, the European one. Won't be sinking power through there, but that's fine. Just grab ourselves an earthquake sensor. And place this up against the road. I guess it almost functions as like some kind of little sub voltage station, right? Yeah, I think we actually might even keep the power lines in as well, because they do kind of add to the vibe. It's just not quite as landscaped and as well maintained as, as the rest of Palawan, right? In terms of a fence aesthetic, I think the nature reserve fence is kind of perfect what we're after, right? Has that kind of run down, broken look about it. It's not particularly well maintained. I feel like we're going to be repeating a lot of the, uh, lot of the same terminology today with run down and dilapidated and... <laughs> All those kind of buzzwords, right? Okay, and then again, lots of kind of large overgrowth behind these. There's also the opportunity to use Find It as well to get some of the kind of worst looking broken down car props in here. Again, kind of the, it's almost like the trees are struggling to breathe, right? Like we don't really want lots of nice landscape trees here, it's kind of the Smaller ones, no palms or nothing like that. Okay, so how are we feeling so far? Yeah, I think it's coming together a little easier now, isn't it? Okay. I think we can definitely kind of take this square as a, a spice sample for the episode, right? Yeah, these kind of really like dirty back end looking buildings, that's what we that's what we want today. Okay. I think I can get on board with that. And let's begin to find out some little outlined suburban road patterns. So let's maybe grab an industrial road again. And we'll come out to road length and angle here. And then we'll save this for maybe like a little farmland build on stream sometime. We probably won't do another farm build for an episode. So we'll just save ourselves a road here to formulate some kind of farmland and make use of that fertile land. And then off the back of this, we're going to start coming out with, maybe let's grab like an, uh, an asymmetrical, the 10 tiles. And then we'll feed the two lanes into the busier road and have the small lane come out. 
And then off the back of this, we can start maybe using some dirt roads. And then off the back of these little curves, we'll start bringing out some little kind of smaller road networks. And we don't want to hook into the actual town center itself here. Keep them flowing. And we'll just kind of see what we can get developing, right? No particular rhyme or reason to the road layout here. And we'll just start to generate some fairly fractured zonings. So I think kind of the let's have a little a little test sample here actually. We're gonna go for kind of smaller zoning houses. Let's see what we're gonna get coming in. Go around some smaller zonings. And we'll also set up a district as well because I believe that Dawson is using the European suburbia stuff for its suburb, right? Kind of all this over here. Yeah, so these are fairly nice looking houses. Um Not particularly the vibe. There is some kind of ruined residential vibes over here. Yeah, with these ones in particular, might be more. Yes, these ones. This is what we want, right? This is Clawson all over. Yeah, with like the horrible broken tiles outside the porch with like meth pipes and stuff, broken down pickup trucks, shopping carts in the back. Perfect. Yeah, we'll go for those. Definitely go for those. <laughs> it's exactly what we're after, right? Very strong Breaking Bad vibes today. Yeah, so we've already got one in. There we go. I'm guessing this is a 3x3, was it? Yeah, 3x3 is a good shout. Also down to this one as well. This one's actually even a little bit too fancy. And then also this one as well. Okay. Yeah. I think definitely these ones. Make sure that we get them in. We'll probably use Pop the Grow Balls today to help ourselves generate this vibe a little easier. But yeah, absolutely, these are the kind of ones, right? And then kind of similar to what we did over in the farm town, um, we'll also just help link um, all these residentials into kind of the wider town green belt with some little pathways in between. So kind of we know what our favorite shape is going to be now. Let's start bringing some more zoning patterns in here. And again, just helping to repeat our spice palette for the residentials. We'll grab some nature reserve fence. Okay. Just kind of draw it in a couple of different places. And then just start to introduce some overgrown vibes kind of more dire looking ones here as well yeah so we've got to be super careful because this absolutely breaks the aesthetic of the area don't want that one it is these that we want in right i think this one's okay as well and we're going with that yeah okay so already just kind of get a sense for it right it's not a particularly nice place to live and we're already getting that one has leveled up. That one's pretty grim looking as well. Okay, maybe have maybe keep that one, in fact. Then that's okay. Okay, so let's carry on kind of just slowly zoning. And kind of three by three and two by two seems to be the pattern to get the dirtier looking residential assets in. So we're gonna carry on running with this idea and just start to flesh out something of an outlying suburb uh, on this side of the town centre. And then we'll start to move down towards the waterfront with some more high density residential stuff as well. Okay guys, so I think we're fairly happy with how this is looking. Um, a lot of the assets that are coming in here are from the university content creator pack, these kind of old broken down looking houses. Um, if you don't have this DLC, there is a link down in the description below to Instant Gaming. Um, it is my referral link. You do support the channel if you buy through that link. And the DLCs are super cheap on instant gaming, like really cheap. If you're missing some of them, uh, go ahead and have a look and pick it up. Looking to uh, generate this vibe, but very kind of sparsely populated, right? This is what we're after today. And then I think what we're going to do now is just start mooching through with some more complimentary green belt. Again, nothing too landscaped. I'm not kind of going for, you know, paths behind the houses with farm fence here. Just lots of vanilla pathways, kind of hooking people through into different areas. 
one fish from a different science. Using our freeform tool is going to help us to generate some different shapes as well. Let me bring in some more for the house along this back end, all right? And then again, what we can do is just complement with a nature reserve fence without our road length here. Okay, and then just come up between them. And then just keep this fence kind of fairly fractured around the junctions of the path and maybe not angle snap in for these either. Okay, just like this. And then again, lots more kind of overgrowth here where there's nothing else kind of around, you know, the, the residents and the council, they don't maintain it anymore. No one particularly cares about this area. Okay, so that's kind of general overgrown, rural, dilapidated action. <laughs> Absolutely going to be repeating that word a thousand times today. And then just a couple of those trees again. And we always take this like a spice palette, right? This is kind of how we want our entire suburb to look and function, just these slightly ruined houses okay so we've got a lot more of this detail to do of course to fill all of them in but you can take this as the spice sample right and then fill it out across the rest of your suburb we've also linked the dirt road into a couple of places as well also just mooch through and introduce uh, some more commercial zonings into this space as well again trying to keep them fairly low level and i thought maybe the central hotel asset would work quite nicely just like an old hotel in town that you know, no one really wants to stay there, but it's still there and somehow stays in business. I think everyone has one of those towns, right? Okay. Probably was just picking up some news now as well, which is nice to see. Go and check on them over by the train station. Yeah, so people are picking this up with an option now. There's people waiting here as well for the train, which is always nice. And we'll, of course, decorate this little, little town centre over here as well at some point. So there's quite a specific style of build that I want to try as part of the kind of wider Clawson Town Centre build. And this is a trailer park and I've never tried to do it in cities before but we'll try and run with it today right. So just off of the main road and then maybe let's grab some oil fence. I think oil fence will be appropriate right. Let's come to everything but just the grid and the angle. And how about we just kind of fence this off here, right? So I have it coming down here. So it's just off the main arterial, kind of got that town centre vibe again to develop. Oh yeah, I also used the uh, props to drop in some billboards here up alongside the road. I think that works quite nicely, right? So there are some assets. Obviously, we don't specifically have like trailers, and um, like you would have in like in a typical American trailer park. It's going to road length here as well. Okay, so come out by 140 each side. Okay, so having just spent about a thousand years waiting for these assets to come in, I've just discovered that they're actually part of the European Suburbia pack and um, that these assets come in. So we'll paint ourselves out a district and then we're going to give it the European Suburbia. And then we're going to be drawing out by kind of these smaller zoning squares here, right? Now, whilst not specifically trailers, they do have some kind of smaller, almost like a little shed allotment vibes about them i think if we run these in very heavily repeated patterns for the length of the road we should come up with something quite nice so let's maybe upgrade the main road here into natural tarmac road okay as they come down then i think i'm happy with these ones here if we run these in a repeated pattern this is the one by two zoning is it yeah one by two Okay, so we can snap these back to back, of course. Go ahead and grab regular dirt road. Yeah, we want to make sure that we're leaving that zoning so we can then... Actually, I think what we will do here is maybe introduce some uh, tween house path vibes as well. Yeah, okay, so we can repeat this pattern as many times as we like. Okay, let's get it running like that. And then what we'll do is come through with so we know a dirt path and also link people through into the wider town center as well via some green belt action okay and then i guess a i think all fence will probably be a little too harsh for the internal fencing yeah it probably will 
We'll use offense to box the trailer park in and maybe just stick to nature reserve for these kind of little internal paths that are going to run behind here, right? Let's come off our angle snap temporarily. And we should just have enough room to clear with the zone in. Yeah, we do. There is a very small sweet spot. Okay, let's wait for these to generate then, and we'll kind of see what a repeated block of these little 1x2 European suburbia assets will function as a trailer park. Okay, so can we get away with this? Some of them do have some slightly fancier vibes, like there is like a little bit of a, a porch out here, back of a back garden. Someone's got a smoker as well, maybe this is where Josh lives. Shout out to subscriber Josh everyone, well mod Josh now I guess actually. I think if we keep running this in a repeated battery and keep repeating this pattern for maybe two or three more of these little roads and then box it in with all fence, I think we can kind of generate some low income, slight trailer part vibes, right? I think we'll run with that idea. Okay, so I think this has come together quite nicely. It takes a very long time to do. If you're on PC, do just play with plot the growables to do this kind of thing. But it is possible with the unmodded game, and it's not turned out too badly. I've also drawn in a little 4x3 commercial just to generate in the coin laundry asset, which again has that kind of rundown vibe, right? It's almost like a little, like an on site laundry mat for the, uh, for the trailer park. I might not be totally true to life, I'm sure any Americans that have experience with a trailer park can maybe reinforce that point for us, but we have some people mooching around here now. It's not turned out too badly. Definitely needs to be detailed up a little bit more. I've also drawn in some commercial zones here to help bring us in like a little car wash and a petrol station to sit up alongside the arterial as we come into town. I think that'll mirror quite nicely opposite the trailer park as well. Okay. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So I do want to start introducing a few more industrial vibes into the area. Well, not particularly industrial. I guess it's more kind of like maintenance and service right so we've got kind of an outline suburb here which will be fleshed out with green belt during the detail time that's of course we kind of a little trailer park vibe here as well on the side of the town and we're going to bring some more high density vibes as we run down into the waterfront in a couple of episodes time possible farmland over here as well so let's grab ourselves an industrial road and i want to snap to the road guard line of the main arterial and then we'll feed down into this section now i want one of the radio masts to be here oh yes i don't what's it called is it a radio mast can't remember yeah, tall radio mast. And um, I want this to kind of sit as a as an item, right? As um like an asset near the town. I don't think it looks too bad. It's it's quite an eyesore, which again kind of fits in with our theme today. Okay, not too bad. And yeah, let's draw ourselves up a regular dirt road. Just so they have access to that, right? And then just come off everything. And then we'll grab like a little road to hook into it, or a path rather. Okay. And then again, I guess we can bring this down onto the arterial as well. What about kind of decorating this big arterial rundown as well? And then I guess again, we'll run with oil industry fence for this, because it is you know, quite a a harsh looking fence and this would be kind of a kind of a secure area to come into I suppose not massively secure and I guess we need to kind of draw the fence around the base of these little supporting pillars right I guess that would make sense or whatever you call them cables I guess not pillars okay I'm gonna bring them around the base and then let's snap back down into here as well. A warehouse maybe. Maybe a warehouse up alongside this radio mast as well just to help flesh out this area a touch more. It is going to bring industrial traffic down the roads but if we just maybe get it to store commercial goods for right now but once we have the farmland set up we can use this as a functioning warehouse for that farmland just to store some farmland goods. Those okay, but it's um, it's gonna help add to our drive by here, I think, isn't it? I think it is. Okay, 
think I'm fairly happy with that so far. Okay. Lots of empty land at the minute, lots of dead space, right? But this will all be filled out with green belt. Okay. And um, let's start to have a look at introducing some kind of more high density assets coming in. So there's a couple of buildings I want to try and work with here today. And let's also bring up some kind of road against road action too, so we can work with those repeated patterns that we did at the start of the episode. And um, let's come on to just a normal road. So I'm after some of the tenement buildings here. Yeah, this is literally it. This is the one I was after. The Lynch residence. Some of these kind of tower block, nasty looking apartments. And I've got all the air conditioning units on the back and... Yeah, because we want to start maybe gaining up, again, thinking about layers of height as we begin to approach the waterfront here. But we're really far from that skyline now, aren't we? These guys have got a nice view over to that downtown. Yeah, long way away. You can kind of see. Can we see the hillside suburb from here? No, thankfully it's hidden. And uh, they, are, they are not allowed to look over to this part of town. Okay, let's start working with some repeated patterns of that 2x2 two two high density um, asset that we're a big fan of. So we'll have that there. And then we'll come out again. Do we want to come straight behind? That will box them in quite nicely, which I think is what we want. So we'll wait for these to come in. Is there only one asset in this pool? I think there is, isn't there? Gonna be the same one, yeah. So a level one two by two high density residential will only generate this building by the looks of it. Yes, it will. Okay, that makes the repeated pattern a thousand times easier then. Of course, I try and stay away from plot the growables as much as possible, but it is incredibly convenient. And then also help us just to generate some more of those grim looking vibes. And how about we maybe come in with a touch of fractured nature reserve fence on either side. Okay. How about that? And then maybe some bushes. Won't use the prop line tool because that'll kind of make it look too landscaped. We'll just go with singular placements and then see how we feel about this from the roadside. Okay, again this is an idea inspired unfortunately by a subscriber Spice Cat. So a shout out to Spice Cat everyone for this one. Um, discovered in a City Skylines Discord stream. If you are not in there, links are in the description. Well, I think I'm happy with that. Um, let's wait for them to come in and then we'll kind of see what we're looking like. Uh, maybe repeat it on this side too, actually. I guess we'll kind of see. But we'll be right back anyway. Okay, so I think I'm fairly happy with it. It's got, um... It's definitely got a vibe about it, right? Got some nice views from the arterial here as well. And down into the town centre. And eventually we'll have a nice view down into the, well... Nice maybe isn't the right word. But a view at least down into the waterfront when we come to work on that. Probably next episode. Yeah, big fan of this aesthetic. It's a little harsh at the minute. There's lots of very harsh borders, of course. We're working in a brand new area of the map today. We will eventually have it all synced through like we do with Dawson, a little more organic. You can see how much kind of green belt there is around Dawson that really helps it all blend in. And um, we've got to kind of do all this again over here, right? Okay, so kind of I think the last thing I want to work on today is going to be uh, a school park. Uh, we want to Get some educational assets in here, of course, and um, let's come through with a road that's going to border up against trailer park. Be a little further down than this, actually. I know it's come out by here, and then we'll come down on an angle. Okay, very nice. Go ahead and grab the school. So we'll use the opposite school to Dawson, which is the European High School. We'll place this in here and again we'll just make sure that our asset placement is working nicely with the rest of the town centre. Yeah, okay. I got Clawson High School here and it says Pinkman High School, but Clawson High School, right? We all know what it is. Um, and then again we'll go with the elementary and possibly bring this up on its own road. Now let's box the high school in. It's got that very harsh concrete border on it, so Having the road next to it will just help to cure it a little bit more. 
Okay, so there's some basic two by two green cities car parks here to help complement and expand our little school area for the town. Then we'll come back onto our angle and grid, and then let's grab ourselves a dirt road. Okay, actually, let's maybe come out a touch further, give ourselves a little more breathing room. And then we'll grab this one and maybe squeeze in. Can we work with a large playground here to back onto the elementary school? We can just come out a touch further though with our little placeholder dirt road. Place that in, very nice. And then we'll bring this down and then we'll back some little tennis courts, or probably basketball courts I think. Yeah, maybe just a one basketball court on here. Okay, and then we can trim up all these little supporting roads. Kind of looks a little weird the way it moves to dirt road there. Maybe we'll stick to kind of the tarmac road, right? And then we'll bring this one down as well. And of course, plenty of room again to maneuver through with our green belt palette for this area. Okay, but lots of different combination of ideas today to serve the base frame of Clawson. Uh, kind of a an outlying sparsely populated suburb we've got our kind of town center here which is circular as opposed to square like dawson's is and you know we'll flesh out with green belt as well nice little school park design a cute little attempt at some trailer park ideas uh, if you guys think there's any assets that can be included within this design to help bring it to life a little bit more please feel free to throw them in the comments and some slight almost industrial maintenance vibes over uh, off the arterial as well and start moving up in height as we head towards that waterfront and um, which will obviously be expanded out of Dawson as well and possibly bring um, a tram and trolley bus interchange together as well where people can switch between uh, the two different towns we can kind of see how it's yeah you can kind of see right now you've got the the square town center here as opposed to the circular one here and uh, a much more rigid tarmac road suburb in Dawson whereas Clawson's is more erratic and all dirt road so I think we're kind of seeing the similarities between them but also the differences as well but anyway guys that does feel like a good place to jump into a detailed town lapse we're going to come ahead and decorate the arterial and then flesh out a ton of green belt in this area and then help bring up some natural forest vibes um, off the backs of these mountains uh, just to help kind of introduce people into Palavan as this will be the first town that they arrive in. But otherwise, I'll speak to you all in a minute.
Okay guys, that is going to do it for today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the episode, a like below is always appreciated. Equally as much if you haven't enjoyed it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. If you've had a really nice time, maybe consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. A really unique style of build today and really quite hard to pull off with the vanilla game without using any of the workshop assets. Um, it's a really unique style to try and come up with, but I think we've pulled it off to an extent at least anyway. Lots of different combinations of build, including a trailer park, a little school park, a small town centre, some outerlying rural rundown suburb and some more industrial maintenance yard area stuff over on the right here as well otherwise i'm fairly happy with it i think i'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments if you think i have missed out any assets that would have worked nicely in this style of build please feel free to throw them in the comments so myself and others can see them but otherwise hang around for the rest of the outro touch you guys wouldn't have seen all the detailing but i will shut up and i will leave it there i want to thank you all so much for watching and as always Enjoy the rest of your day.